go. Oke, okay, hi guys, how are you doing? Well, I'm good. Great. I'm fine, thank you. Oke, okay, so yeah, uh, we are still in college right now, but of course we have to think about our future, about our dream job. So today I want to discuss about our dream country to have a job. Sounds good? Yeah, that's a really it's good. Great, idea. Sounds good, bro. Yeah. I'm in. Okay, so uh, I want to ask about your dream job and your dream country. So what is your dream job and which country that you want to have a job at? Let's start with Derek. How about you? <clears throat> uh, my dream job is become a businessman who focusing on MFMA business. Yeah? And about my dream country is German. That's really great, Rick. That's one of my dream countries too, actually. Oh, really? Yes, it's very great. Okay, Derek, thank you for your answer. So, now I want to ask Lutfi. How about you, Lutfi? Well, to answer that question, Rizky, uh, my dream job is to become an entrepreneur in any business sector. As to which country that I want to work in, it's not other than Japan. Wow, Japan. That's cool. Of course, Japan is a really cool and interesting country to learn, to work and live in, Ki. Cool. Thank you for the answer, Lutfi. And now I want to ask Jericho. So Jericho, how about you? Well, my dream job is to become a human resource manager. And uh, my working country is like, Lutfi is in Japan. Why did you choose Japan to be a dream country? Well, to put it bluntly, uh, Japan has better work cultures and disciplines than Indonesia. Although, it makes Japan's work environment is kind of more harsh than Indonesia. Hmm. Okay, bro, that's really cool. Thank you for the answer. And now I want to ask Daphne. How about you, Daphne? Okay, well, my dream is job is to become an entrepreneur, just the same as Lutfi. But I don't know for sure what kind of business exactly. And my dream country is America, but I have to mention uh, the city. You know, uh, it would be New York. Oh, awesome. And why did you choose America to be your dream country? Um, because, because I really like the vibe there. The city is very beautiful. And I would love to see it uh, every day uh, to go to work. Yeah, uh, that's why. Cool, cool. Thank you for that answer, guys. You guys have a really cool dream job and dream country. So, guys, do you have any questions to ask for me? Of course, Ki. He has been asking us about our dream job and dream country. And now we want to know what about your dream job and dream country. Okay, so my dream job is to become an entrepreneur in a food and beverage industry. And my dream country is the same as Derek, uh, Germany. Germany? Oh, we have something in common, bro. Maybe we will meet there in uh, future, right? Yeah, sure, bro, of course. Okay, Rizky. <clears throat> Rizky has asked about, about our uh, dream job and dream country. And now it's my turn to ask you guys, okay? I want to ask you about the work culture, similarities, and difference between your dream country and your home country. Let's start with Lutfi. Okay, Derek. Well... There are several differences between Japanese and Indonesian work culture. Japanese workers usually work long hours and even overtime. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, workers rarely work overtime. Wow, is that real? The workers work for long hours and overtime? Yes, Derek. That is why Japanese workers have a high stress level and a high suicidal rate because of their stress. Oh, okay, wow, that sounds crazy. And how about you, David? Okay, uh, the American work culture is very different from the work culture applied in Indonesia. The American work culture is individualistic, while uh, the work, mm. work culture in Indonesia tends to apply a uh, teamwork system. Good, that's really good too. Thank you, David. 
Um, okay. Okay, now I want to ask Jericho, how about you? Well, uh, it's like the peace answer, but uh, the Japan it has a strict norm that makes the employees loyal to his company. Because as we know, Japanese people really adhere to its culture, especially in the work culture until nowadays. Japanese people also tend to keep a bow rather than handshake like in Indonesia. The last significant difference that I can point out is that uh, Japanese people really carried out the text that was given to them with every detail they could come with. Hmm, sounds good. Uh, but can you give me some example uh, of the strict norm in Japan? Well, uh, there are so, so many aspects of Japanese culture that I found strict. Uh, it's not related to work, but some of them are to avoid eating or drinking on the go, avoid loud phone conversations while on public transit in Japan, and don't blow your nose in public. In the work-related norms, just like I said before, the subordinates must carry the text given to them with all their might. Hmm, it seems to have a little in common with the norm in Indonesia, right? Yes, it does have a little common with Indonesian norms, norms like avoiding lot of conversations while on public transit uh, because it brings discomfort to other people. All right, thank you for your answer, Jericho. And the last, Rizky, how about you? Mm, Germany and Indonesia have a lot of work culture and differences. Firstly, German people are very productive. They are really focused when they are in the office, not having a talk with their friends in the office or we can call it they are individualists. While Indonesian people frequently talking with their co-workers and talking about other people while they are doing their job. Secondly, German people always disciplined in matters of time. On the other hand, Indonesian people don't really have a discipline in matters of time. Being late is a regular thing in Indonesia. And last but not least, German people can get 20 to 35 days of annual leave in a year. However, Indonesian people only can get 12 days and will live in a year. Wow, that's interesting. And what about the similarities? Oh yeah, uh, about the similarities. However, even Germany and Indonesia have a lot of work culture differences. There are a few work culture similarities between Germany and Indonesia. Firstly, both Indonesia and Germany were a professional conservative working attire. But it depends on the company's policy. Secondly, even though the Germany people were really focused with their job, German people love to go on a vacation. And last but not least, just like Indonesia, German people also greet each other every time someone passes through. Wow, that's already cool. <clears throat> Thank you for the answer, Rizky. And now I want to ask Lutfi. How about you, Lutfi? Well, uh, as for the similarities, both Indonesia and Japanese workers are very disciplined and highly respectful to each other. Also, both countries allow their workers to have a lunch break, usually about one or two hours. Okay, can you give me some example of highly respectful to each other? Uh, some examples of respect is like always greeting each other, like giving a handshake or saying good morning or konnichiwa. And then uh, usually Japanese and Indonesian workers call their seniors with honorary titles. For example, in Japanese, they say uh, dono or sama to seniors. In Indonesia, they say like bapa or ibu, like that. It's like sir or missus in English. Hmm. Okay, thank you, Lutfi, for the answer. And now, the last, uh, how about you, Davin? Uh, for similar similarities, Americans and Indonesians uh, really care about their work. They tend to define themselves based on the work they have. Uh, and, and also, they often find it hard to divide their time between work and personal time. Now, infrequently, holidays are filled with, with work. Cool. Okay, now I want to ask uh, the last. <laughs> Jericho, how about you, Jericho? Well, just as Luffy said, uh, the culture we have in common with Japan are there are a distinctive position between one's colleagues, subordinates, and superior. 
we also often taking over time which is Japanese people did too. Okay, thanks for the response, Jericho. Okay, next. Uh, do you have? Uh, do you guys have a question for me? Of course, Derek. Uh, now it's your turn to answer the questions. How about you? Is there any work culture similarities or differences between your dream country and our uh, and your home country? <clears throat> yes, my dream country, Jerman, has many similarities and differences with Indonesia. Uh, I would like to tell three similarities between German and Indonesia, right? Uh, first, uh, breakfast is a must. Uh, second, uh, German uh, use the public transportation. And the last uh, is uh, addressing a senior. Oh, wow, that's very interesting. But how about the differences? Of course, uh, I would like to tell three differences. Uh, first, Germany is working with uh, high quality. Uh, second, uh, Germany is using time very effective. And third, uh, Germany is very, dis uh, very disciplined more than Indonesia. Wow. Okay, uh, thank you, Derek. Uh, I've learned something new today. Okay, I guess that is all we need to know. Now we know about our dream job and our dream country. Maybe we could start from now to make our dream come true, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I hope so. Of course, sure. Of course, we have to. Uh, I hope we can achieve our dreams and be happy with our lives. Yeah, let's do our best. Okay, guys, thank you. I think it's all for today. Thank you for the time. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. Thank you. Guys. Thank you.